All right, episode six of College Football 25. Huge week coming up for us here versus James Madison. A lot of recruits on the line. Speaking of recruits, let's go into recruiting. Who is ready for a visit? Beach is ready for a visit. Schedule his visit there. Proximity to home. Alex Ring. We're leading on him also. And there are complimentary visits, so let's go ahead and schedule him. So the next home game will also be absolutely massive. We still have 60 hours left. Let's take a look. Move our people who have already committed to the bottom of the board. Oh, he's not interested in us at all. Nobody's really going in on this receiver. Hey, come back. Um, yeah, I can see why. How about this receiver? Hmm. Yeah, we already have a kicker. We do not have a punter yet. Did the other fullback lock us out? Yeah, he did. We're still number one on this guy's board, though. Alright, let's get into the game versus James Madison. We're coming off a win versus Troy, and James Madison is a worse team than Troy. I can't remember how many recruits we have visiting. It's like, I think, three or four. Please let me skip the intro. Nice. Tap him down at the 17. Season 355 yards. So they do not pass the ball much. A man just to somehow stumble forward for four yards. And oh boy, they are a hurry up option option offense, it looks like. Alright, third and four. Let's get a stop here. They have to pass here, right? Third and four. Dropping back, it's Barnett. Take 
completion on the screen. Is that a holding? Illegal contact. There we go, negative one yard there. Third and eight. Oh, and they throw a screen there. We weren't ready for it. We stop it, though. Fourth and six. Oh, that re return went nowhere. Are you shitting me? Roughing the punter penalty. We force them to punt it, and the AI does that shit. The AI does a fucking roughing the punter. He hung on to it. Of course, now they're deciding that they want to fucking pass it all of a sudden. After not passing it out. After throwing a single screen pass. To start off. I cannot believe that roughing the punter penalty. I am fucking livid about that. We could have had the ball. We could have forced them to punt it. But roughing the punter penalty fucks us. And they score a touchdown because of it. I need the defense to be able to get stops like they, like they should have in that first drive. Alright, scramble out of the pocket here. Slide, please. No, he doesn't slide. But we get the first down. Oh, only one yard on that pass. Just have to throw that one away. There was no option there. Oh, uh, fourth and one. Nah, we're going for it on fourth and one. Good job knowing where that was, and now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. I love offensive play calling. 
We're able to convert on fourth down. Oh, no, that is... Oh, another pass. General Booty this entire season has just been absolutely awful about throwing passes nowhere near the receivers. There we go. Get the first down this time. Uh, didn't block anybody, number 71. Come on. Oh, uh, I swear to God, if that's a holding penalty. It's a fucking holding. So first, our defense... First, our defense has a roughing the punter penalty to give them a first down, and then they score a touchdown because of it. Now our offense does a holding penalty, and not able to get the pass off in time. It's third and 18. We get we have a touchdown taken away from us because of a holding penalty. I forgot linebackers can jump a million miles in the air. We have to settle for a field goal. So we have a punt stolen from us, and they score a touchdown because of it, and then we have a touchdown taken away from us. This game has luck going 100% against us. We need a defensive stop here. 150% need a defensive stop. Alright, good start. Stopping the kick return well short at the 14. Oh my god. We had three defenders there, but none of them were close enough to the ball to make a play. There we go. They lose one yard on that screen pass. JMU has 82 passing yards to our 37. But they also have a lot more plays than us. Third and five, we need to stop. We need to stop here on third and five. We force the fumble, but they recover it. Uh, we cannot catch a break this game. Seven-yard pickup there. And that's inbounds, apparently. God, we force a fumble, but we're not able to fall on it. Wow, we are just having the absolute shit luck this game. Nice, we stopped the screen. Please, for the love of God, somebody take him down. Third and one. It should have been stopped after one yard, but he somehow just 
avoided the tackle that hit him directly. I don't quite know what happened there. How they fumbled it, how the fumble ended up all the way over there. But it happened. I I think that was the glitch. I will take it because the glitch was in my favor and we get a fumble recovery for a touchdown. Can I get a replay of that? Oh, okay. So the center hikes it and just yeets it all the way downfield, apparently. And with that, we are up by a field goal. Interception right to O'Malley. This time a proper force turnover. Nice job by O'Malley. Getting the interception. If our offensive linemen would have held their, uh, held their guys for half a second longer, we would have been able to scramble for a first down. First and goal here, though, on the slants. First and goal here. Oh my god, a fucking interception on first and goal. I cannot fucking believe that ended up in a fucking interception. He was wide open, but General Booty, doing what he does best, throws the ball horribly right to a fucking defender. Third and one, we need to stop here. Setting the pressure. Oh my god, number seven just somehow completely avoided number 39, and their running back finally gets hurt. Not that I'm wishing players get hurt, but they've been running the ball and they've been doing hurry up exclusively. It was bound to happen one of these days. I don't know how I missed that tackle with O'Malley on that third down. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the spot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up. There we go, third and five. Let's get a stop here. Or they can just find a receiver absolutely butt naked wide open. That works too. We can do absolutely nothing to stop them right now. We had our chance to stop them. And they break through for about a fucking billion yard touchdown pass there. 
So that bullshit interception comes back to kill us, and their quarterback is 16 for 18, so he's near perfect. Alright, three minutes. We need to score here. We get the ball back to start the second half. We need to score. We need to get a fucking defensive stop eventually, too, but... More importantly, as of right now, we need to score. That's number one. I don't understand how sometimes holding the A button means you hand it off, sometimes it doesn't. What the hell is the logic? Number nine was just fucking gliding along there. I'm just lucky he didn't intercept that. And Booty does what Booty does. He throws that one about five miles away from his receiver. Now we're fucking going for it. And, of course, 99.9% .9 of the time, they will fucking stumble forward for a first down on those. But this time, nope, no luck. Send in all the fucking pressure, get the sack. Third and eight as he somehow secures that pass. Third and eight. If we don't get a stop here, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Alright, we force him to throw it away. They're going to kick the easy field goal here. We'll be down by a touchdown, but we'll still have time on the clock to score. Oh, he shanks the field goal. Oh, he drops the pass. Ah, yes, let's fucking run it on third and ten. Brilliant. Brilliant idea there. No. If we're going for it, we're fucking going for it. There we go. Get the deep pass off. Let's go. First and goal. Let's not ruin another first and goal opportunity. We get the touchdown this time. Nine Eye Davis there with the catch. We went seventy one yards in thirty six seconds. That's going to be a touchback. We have to just hold them from scoring for a minute, seven seconds. Interception! That's going to be a pick six. Beautiful defensive touchdown. Stefan or Steven say one. I'm going to say Steven.
Pick six. Another defensive touchdown for us this season. I think that's our fourth defensive touchdown of the season. And that puts us up to a 10-point lead. A lot more comfortable with the lead now. Still a minute, one second left in the half, and we get the ball to start the second half. That's our second interception of the game. He will bring that one out and get stopped at the 17. They throw a screen pass here. Interesting. And another short pass. I don't quite know what their plan is with these short passes. They're down to just one timeout left in the half. And another short pass. Interception. Third interception of the game. That was Godfrey, wasn't it? Yeah, we have 40 seconds. Let's go for another touchdown. And if not, hopefully we are in field goal range. Probably should have thrown that one away instead of trying to get that off. Please, there we go. First and ten, beautiful. And we get another touchdown there. The slants really had time to develop. Number 17, wide open there. Tristan Wiley with that touchdown. Surprised. Had someone wide open in general booty actually converted the pass. And with that, we are up 31 to 14. That's probably going to be a touchback. Yep. 14 seconds left in the half. Are they just going to run to get up to get the clock out? What are they going to do? They do just run it. Yep, they just run it to end the quarter. End the half. We are up by, what is that, 17? Yeah, 17. We have two defensive touchdowns, the fumble recovery for a touchdown, and the pick six. We've only thrown one interception. They've thrown three. There's that weird fumble from the center that I still don't understand. With that, let's head back to the team in Malone Stadium as they just continue to show these full play replays. 
There we go. We get the ball to start the half. Go ahead and start chewing clock. Start chewing clock early. Breaks the tackle. Gets through. Beautiful, beautiful run there. All right, five-yard rush there. Get the first. Just work our way down the field. Uh, tried to spin out of the way. Couldn't do it. That was one that a, a juke might have been better. Uh, only one yard there on the scramble. He is just very slow. Get there. Fourth and inches. We'll go for it on fourth and inches, yeah. Emmanuel Bush gets injured for them. They needed less than a yard, really too far to kick a field goal, a little too close to punt. Uh, really not much of a decision there. Yeah, and I really don't care where you're out on the field. Fourth and inches, I like me to get inches, and I'm going for it, especially when you're inside of the field. Where I'm at. Little two yard run there. Oh, that play was going nowhere. Number zero was just right there. Third and seven. We should be in field goal range. Fourth and two. Coach says go for it. Oh no, I threw it to the wrong guy. I wanted to throw it to B. That is an interception. That might end up being a long pick six as he's shed not one, not two, but it takes two men to take him down on the third tackle. I wanted to throw it to B. I accidentally hit A. Uh, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. We should have had an, at least an easy field goal there. as they just continue to just constantly run the ball and run hurry up. They are just continuing to just run, then run, then run, then run. Please, someone take him down. There we go. Two yards there. As they, they're just going to run the ball every single play. That's what they do. Saw that coming from a mile away. Able to stop it. Third and 14 here. Third 
How did he stay standing? Fourth and seven, though. Keep them to a field goal. I will happily take that. Especially since we were able to waste almost the entire third quarter. So this field goal will be essentially the end of the quarter. Three seconds left. Let's go. First down there. On to the fourth quarter. We are up by 14, 31 to 17. Ohio State's ranked number one. Oregon, Florida State, USC at the top four. Pressure coming. Couldn't do anything there. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Let's do this. Gained seven yards there on the scramble. He'll go on a streak. Hill, wide open on the streak, just using his speed. Touchdown. Parker Hill, the sophomore. Just phenomenal deep threat that we have. Just wanted a blowout where I'm thinking that after this defensive possession, I'm probably going to go ahead and simulate out. Why was there nobody on that half of the field? Completion on a two minute drive, they'll get the momentum started in your direction. Finds the tight end, and he'll run across the sidelines after the good. All right, second and five here. Wants to crank the tempo. You know, we joke that the tight ends always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them coming. Yeah, because those guys, they're such good. Nice job there playing the pass on the screen. Almost got to the quarterback there. Third and five now. Nobody guarded number nine at all. Nobody covering him. Our team just isn't athletic enough to run man to man. Even versus other Sun Belt teams. Come on, someone hit him. There we go. Second and two. If they score here, then I am going to play the offensive possession. I said if we get a stop, simulate out. We are definitely not getting a stop, though. As they just continue to do these quick passes. Third 
Third and one. We need to stop here. We needed to stop, but the running back does not let that happen as he runs for eight yards. And my guy just doesn't go for the tackle. They score the touchdown. But they did take two minutes off the clock with that drive. Five minutes left in the game. Assuming we can convert on our first downs, I think we should have this game in under wraps. Number 70, block your fucking guy. Second and eight here. X is open. In the middle of the field. Nice long completion there. Get the first down. This defense looks like it's expecting run, so I'm going to go pass. Just a quick pass here. And Emmanuel Bush gets injured for them. Second and five now. Hand it hand off. Down. Get the first down. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. The Warhawks are moving. All right, we're going to try to throw a screen pass here. Less than three minutes left in the game. He's looking to throw it. And we didn't even have time to throw a screen pass. The defense just got to us that fucking quick. Oh god, we are not going with that play. We are going with verticals here. To the air. It's Moody. Unloads to the wide out. Hill once again gets open on the deep pass, but he fumbles it. He fumbles the ball inside of the ten inside of the fifteen yard line. And we turn the ball over. And just like that, it is a game again. They have two and a half, over two and a half minutes to score two touchdowns with the ball. They're already a team that runs pretty much exclusively hurry up offense. I do not like our, I do not like that turnover. That turnover could have cost us the game. And he breaks the tackle there. We weren't able to get to the quarterback quite in time. Runs it up the middle, breaks the tackle, gets a 15-yard carry. He got injured earlier in the game because they were running hurry up and just exclusively running the ball, and now they're doing it again. Wide open there. They are charging down the field, no problems. Two minute warning, and they are running. Hurry up at the two minute warning. I didn't think you could do that. Well, here's the problem offensively because you're trailing by so much so late in the game. The defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field. Fumble. We recover the fumble this time. We force a turnover of our own, get the ball back. Thank God. That was the only way we were going to stop them that drive, drive as if they turned it over. And they call their first time out of the game. First time out of the half, rather. One, two, run an option play here, just so I have the option to 
keep with the QB. They're fully expecting run. Right, try to run a slant play here. We cannot afford to go three and out immediately. Davis, wide open. We get the first down. They've used their last time out. Now we just need to, to hike the ball a few times, and we have the game. Second and one. Just over a minute left. Get the first down. We're up over 100 rushing yards on the game. I think that's the first time we've done that this season. And this will be the last play of the game. Let the play clock run down. Run the ball straight up the middle. Don't fumble it. And with that, wait for the clock to run out. Five, four, three, two, one. A huge win. We are 2-0 and in conference play, 2-3 and on the season. Huge 14-point win held heavily by our 28-point second quarter, where I think we had two defensive touchdowns that quarter. General Booty wins player of the game, 320 yards, three touchdowns. 60% completion percentage, which is phenomenal for him. Normally hovers around the 50%. And that will move us to 2-0 in the conference. We should be atop the Sun Belt West. Now let's take a look at the stats. Twenty for thirty-three, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Would like him to not throw those interceptions. Hunter Smith, fifteen rushes for seventy-nine yards, three broken tackles. Phenomenal job. Receiving, a hundred and five yards for Parker Hill, including that long fifty-six yard touchdown. Tristan Wiley had his thirty-four yard touchdown. Nine Nine Davis had a touchdown, fifty-seven yards. Darius Bailey had two receptions for 35 yards. McKinstry had his big 29-yard reception. And the biggest thing of all, only one drop pass this game. On the blocking side, only one sack allowed. Defensive end. 13 tackles for Steven Sewan along with that interception. I think his was a pick six. Yeah, he had a pick six, two forced fumbles, and 13 tackles, including one TFL. If he's not the conference defensive player of the week, I'm going to be very surprised. Also interceptions for Noah O'Malley and David Godsey. I think I called him Godfrey earlier, but it's Godsey. Fumble recovery for Tyrese Hopkins and Kevante Wells. And Tyrese Hopkins and Steven, Steven Saywan both had defensive touchdowns on the game. Absolutely massive game. Massive win. We had four or five recruits at that game. Let's see if any of them commit to the college. I think we leveled up there. We did level up. Advance over to week six. Moment of truth. Did any recruits commit to us? We get Brandon Powell. Right outside linebacker. Three star recruit. We get Mitch Free the defensive tackle. The punter, we are... Aw. Oh, hey, we've leveled up in championship contender there. We're up to D+. Plus. We're still number one for Ernie Arnelli. We are way ahead, it looks like. Sergio, we might not get Sergio, Sergio Vallejo. But we're first for Larry Beach. We're first for Alex Ring. We're first for IOC Faki. Christian Ward uh, locks us out, but he wasn't really one that I was pursuing anyway. And we do get the defensive player of the week, Steven Sewan. Seven tackles, one interception, two forced fumbles, one of his and a pick and a touchdown. 
phenomenal, phenomenal game from him. And he wins national player of the defensive player of the week too. I think that's the second time we've had a national player of the week. I think we had one in week one, I want to say. Yeah, Carlin Vigers with his two pick sixes in week one. And with that, that'll do it for this episode. We're facing Southern Miss, who is 4-1 on the season, 1-0 and in the conference. That 4-1 record is kind of scary. I uh, hope we can pull out a win because we have a lot of recruits visiting this week to take a quick look at the conference standings before we go. For the Sun Belt West, we are atop with a 2-0 record. Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles is who we're facing this week. They're the only un other undefeated team in the conference, so this will be for the top of the division currently. This is, they've on a, they lost their first game, but they've won each of the last four. They're a 78 overall. They're substantially better than we are. They run a spread offense, which I hate playing defense against. This might be a rough game.